Today, Hurricane Fiona became the first major hurricane of the 2022 Atlantic season with winds up to 115 miles per hour as it moves right by Turks and Caicos. The storm has already knocked out power to most of Puerto Rico, killing at least one person in the process. We are going to get more straight away on this top story. ABC News, Victor Okendo. Puerto Rico in the dark after powerful winds from Fiona knocked out power to nearly everyone on the island. Those winds nonstop for two days, dumping 30 inches of rain and leaving hundreds of thousands with no running water. Five years after Hurricane Maria devastated the island, Fiona battering Puerto Rico, killing one person. The U.S. territory's governor calling the damage catastrophic. More than a thousand people rescued. First responders in waist deep floodwaters scouring this area in Añasco and rescuing people trapped in their homes. In Salinas, Ruben Ramos and his mother Onelia called 911 at midnight. Uh -huh. The water, she says that the water was running just like this, but inside of her house. But firefighters couldn't reach them for seven hours. What was it like when the firefighters arrived? ¿Cómo sintieron cuando los bomberos llegaron? Oh. Felicidad, Felicidad. Felicidad, you were happy, you were relieved. Happy, happy, yes. happy. Small communities underwater. In the mountain town of Uguado, a torrent of flood water tearing apart this temporary bridge rebuilt after Maria and sweeping it away. Take a look at this dam. Residents tell me they have never seen it like this. And Fiona, it's not done with Puerto Rico yet. This plantain farm in Guanica, damaged by those 85 mile per hour winds, Gus reaching 100 miles per hour. This woman saying she knows nothing because she doesn't have access to anything. Residents traveling to neighboring towns, desperate for supplies and gasoline. Now Turks and Caicos preparing for the wrath of the strengthening hurricane. Fiona barreling over the Dominican Republic as it made its second landfall early Monday morning. 80 mile per hour winds whipping across Punta Cana. West of the popular resort town, Fiona's impact hitting Igwe hard. Roads collapsing, debris pouring into the streets, and the roofs of homes blown off. This home now uninhabitable. Victor Okendo joining us now live from Torbaja in Puerto Rico. So, Victor, it is a cruel irony that today is the five-year anniversary of Hurricane Maria. We know that devastated Puerto Rico left residents without power for months. How is the response and recovery efforts going for today? Well, Deirdre, those efforts are now underway, but because Fiona continued to hammer Puerto Rico with rain all day long yesterday, that created some very dangerous and very rough conditions, so those crews couldn't get out there and immediately get to work. But I did speak with both the governor and the vice president of the power company that operates the grid here in Puerto Rico before the storm, and what they told me was that they were as prepared as possible and that they had a lot more resources in place ready to go once the storm does pass, and that they were in better shape than they were when Maria hit the the island five years ago. Okay. That said, nearly everyone here is without power right now. You see the street behind me. It's currently flooded, creating a bit of a mess here as people try to navigate these floodwaters. It is going to take some time before power is fully restored to the island. The power company, Luma Energy, they say that it could be a matter of days, but the residents here who have been dealing with blackouts regularly, even without a storm hitting, say that they expect it to take longer than that. Deirdre. So, Victor, we know President Biden spoke on Monday with the Puerto Rican governor about the federal government's support after the island territory was hit this weekend. What national resources is the U.S. sending to one of its key territories in the Caribbean? Yeah, Pre President Biden is promising to help here. The White House saying that more than 300 federal personnel are already working to assist with response and recovery. And that is really just the beginning. Once some more damage assessments are done, that number should increase significantly. We should also mention that FEMA's administrator is headed here to Puerto Rico today. Deirdre. Victor, thank you so much for your great reporting. Victor Okendo joining us there from Puerto Rico. Stay safe, Victor. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.